Mamy okazję porozmawiać z Johnem Kowaliczem, ilustratorem m.in. Manchkina oraz autorem internetowego komiksu Dork Tower. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Boy, that's actually a very tough question. There are so many great games out there. And I've been lucky enough to illustrate so many games that I love. Um, <clears throat> it would be, let's say, diplomacy. <laughs> let's give diplomacy a very cartoon makeover. Maybe it won't break up so many friendships. That's again a very difficult question because I like so many games. Um, <clears throat> it would probably have to be a game like Magic, um, which is just, you know, the style is so realistic. They're, I mean, they did actually have a humorous supplement a while ago, uh, but it's also, it would be intimidating. There's so much history behind the game and there are so many fantastic artists who've worked on it. When Steve uh, Jackson first came to me with Munchkin, uh, I, was, I was hugely flattered. I've been a big fan of Steve's for many years, <clears throat> and I've done a few illustrations for Steve Jackson games, but this is the first time I'd had the opportunity to work on a game which Steve had designed himself. So that was a huge deal to me, and obviously Steve knows that I'm a cartoonist, and so he was looking for a sort of fun style and the opportunity to develop a brand new game. Uh, just every, there was everything, everything was open. Uh, all the, you know, any possibilities, any direction I wanted to go, I was allowed to go. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And it's strange looking back, it's Munchkin's gonna be 15 years old next year. Um, it's very strange looking back and seeing that some of these cards have become classic cards. I would love to go back and change some of them <clears throat> because I'm a better artist now. Steve won't let me. Steve says, no, 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 these, these cards are, they're classic. People love these cards. Um, so that's, I think that's kind of hilarious. In a sense, yes, but it's also a tremendous amount of fun. I mean, whenever I go to uh, my studio and sit down and start drawing, I just have a huge, huge amount of fun. Uh, this is the greatest job I could imagine. Uh, so I, I hope that some of that sense of fun comes through in every card I draw. Uh, and some of them, there will be some visual jokes. I get to add a lot to the look of a Munchkin card. Um, so I'll try and throw in some small details here and there. Uh, to make it, you know, that much more fun. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a blast drawing these. <clears throat> I, uh, the comic strip and also the comic book, uh, it's, they're different forms of entertainment. So I get to tell stories in them, which I can't really do with the card illustrations. I can make a card illustration as funny as I can, but there's something really satisfying with being able to tell an ongoing story in the comic book, or just to do some very short, punchy jokes in the comic strip. So all, between all of them, they really uh, give me a lot of opportunities to dabble in a lot of different forms of humor. If you're illustrating your first game, the best advice I could give anyone is advice I was actually given by Charles Schultz, uh, the creator of Peanuts, who told me when I first started out to work as hard as you can and always be yourself. So with some people, that's gonna mean different things. Um, you have to enjoy your work. You have to have fun with your work. And uh, from that point on, anything can happen. So I don't think you need to go into a comic book or a game illustration necessarily differently from one or the other. Um, your style will evolve over the years. Uh, you will find what you're most comfortable with, what you're best at, 
and you hopefully you will grow and expand and uh, encompass a lot of different aspects in your work. Yeah, and most of the time, <clears throat> it's not, when you're starting off, you want to find the companies that will use your style of work. You don't want to send your work off to every single publisher because you'll be wasting a lot of people's time. There will be some companies that don't want cartoons. If you're a cartoon illustrator, there will be some companies that aren't looking for very realistic illustrations. So if you do um, <clears throat> really horrific vampires and creepy zombies, like very, very realistic, very bloody, you don't want to send those to some companies because they're just not going to be interested in that style. So you want to find the sort of company that's already doing the sort of work you like to do and you know, send off a portfolio to them, meet, come to conventions like this one, meet the people behind the company, talk with people, figure out what they're looking for, uh, figure out what they need and see if you can fill those needs for them. It starts off slowly, you know, you're going to be very lucky to get your first few gigs, um, but then if you're reliable, if you get your work in on time, if you're professional, there's always going to be a need in the gaming industry for that sort of person. Well, the, with the game Munchkin Legends, uh, that's very much focused on historical legends. So that's starting to bring a little more of the real world into Munchkin. Uh, Munchkin is, to me, remarkable because it's done so much already. There are, boy, I've, I've, I've drawn over 5,000 cards for Munchkin in the last 15 years. And it seems to be able to move into new areas all the time. So honestly, there's no telling where it could go next. Steve knows, Andrew knows. <laughs> I will know as soon as I get the art specs. Um, but yeah, it's, it just keeps growing. It's, uh, it's a joy to work on it and I feel very, very lucky to be a part of this. Right, it's the last one I've ever illustrated. <laughs> um, I, every, every game I get, um, I have more fun with, but I really do love the game Cash and Guns. It's a fantastic game, and I'm, I'm a big board game player. So right now, I'm really interested in games like Cash and Guns, or in America, the, um, in English, the game is called Camel Up. There's another game. Um, I, I don't know what it's called uh, in the other languages, or uh, Cold Express. So there's this, right now, I'm really having a lot of fun playing these games, which to me, they're about 50% luck and 50% strategy. Uh, so you can go into it, you know, these games, with a really good strategy, but there's still so much luck involved. It makes it for a very fun, quick game. And again, I was very fortunate to be asked to illustrate Cash and Guns, which is a very hugely, hugely fun game. And it's very, um, you know, you get to point guns at people. And that's, it's, it's wrong on so many levels, but it's also so, so very fun.